Hi everybody, welcome to today's webinar. We're excited you're here. Uh, my name is McKay Allen. I am the Inbound Marketing Manager at uh, Log My Calls. And we're really excited you've joined us today. We're going to do two things in this webinar. The first thing we're going to do is talk a little bit about conversation analytics, give you a brief introduction to conversation analytics, talk about a couple business cases uh, that will allow you to make more money using conversation analytics. And then the second thing we'll do is we're going to bring in Mike Riding, who's a colleague of mine here in the marketing department. He's going to briefly talk about our December offer that if you sign up with a new Log My Calls account, you get a free Kindle Fire HD. So uh, that's a pretty exciting thing, I think. So let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about conversation analytics, what it is, how it can be used, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So um, I want to give you just sort of a brief introduction as to who we are as a company. And uh, that should provide a little bit of uh, uh, background that can hopefully tell you why we're, we're doing what we're doing. So what is Log My Calls? We provide call tracking, call analytics for agencies and businesses. Um, we also provide lead scoring and deep analytics for the phone. Those deep analytics are conversation analytics, which we'll talk about. Um, we also are the winner, and we won this uh, about, oh gosh, 18 months ago now. But we were the selected winner of the 2013 Amazon Web Services Global Startup Challenge. There were 2,500 companies that competed, and we were selected as the winner. And uh, it's because of conversation analytics. Uh, they felt the tool was so advanced and so powerful that they uh, gave us the award. So we were excited about that. So let's talk a little bit about um, how, um, how advertisers are spending money. So if you're a small business owner, if you're an executive at a large company, or if you're an agency, this information is useful. Uh, in 2012, and the number will be higher in 2013, but in 2012, there was $68 billion over that actually spent on advertising that year to drive phone calls. Now, these came from a couple of different sources. They came from, of course, local businesses, locally owned businesses that uh, want the phone to ring, uh, any business you would call before you visit or make an appointment. So these are auto repair, tire, dentist, attorneys, pay for cash medical, pay with cash medical, I should say, and a host of others. And then, of course, national corporations that have a local presence or even a call center presence uh, all spend money to get the phone to ring. They spend this money on their internal marketers, they spend it on advertising buys, and they spend it with agencies. Now, this is an interesting bit of da uh, data before we get into exactly what conversation analytics is as well. Um, we've worked with a lot of different marketing experts uh, to produce webinars over the last you know, 12 months. We have a very robust webinar series uh, that is, uh, uh, we have a couple webinars a week. Some of you have probably attended some of these webinars. You can see the upcoming ones on logmycalls.com slash webinar. And some of the data that comes out of these webinars is very useful. So we were, we were doing a webinar with a, a very large PPC agency. And they said that based on their research internally, one phone call produces three times the revenue of one web lead. So it takes, I mean, the other way to look at this is it takes three web leads to produce the revenue that is generated from one phone call. So if you're in an industry where you get both web leads and phone calls, we're in that industry, for example, um, it, it, it really speaks to the value of how important a phone call is. So let's talk a little bit about traditional call tracking, what it, what it does, the data it provides, how it works. So traditional call tracking, we know by now what it is, what it provides, and, and what the data can tell us. Traditional call tracking can tell us the raw number of phone calls that come from a source. So it can tell you how many phone calls were generated from a PPC campaign and how many phone calls were generated from specific ads and even keywords. It can also tell us, of course, the referring source and a little bit about the online behavior of that uh, referral. It can also tell you, used to be able to tell you organic keywords. Google has ended that. And it'll also give you call duration and occasionally call recordings. So it's going to give you a lot of data, and that's useful data. There's no question about it. We provide call tracking. So of course we know that, that the data is useful and significant. Uh, and a lot of companies use call tracking. There's a lot of good call tracking providers out there. Some are on this webinar today actually with us as attendees. Uh, and so traditional call tracking is good and significant. However, um, call tracking, even though it's extremely useful, it's limited. So call tracking, again, more virtues. We got scheduled reports that can show you how, how uh, 
how many calls, if you're an agency, how many calls you're generating for your clients. Or if you're the owner of a small business or an executive at a larger business, you can have these reports automatically sent to you. They'll show you the number of calls sources are generating. They can also, uh, you can also receive a text message that'll tell your clients if you're an agency or yourself, if you're, if you're again, a small business owner or an executive, when you generate calls. You can also uh, listen to calls with Analog My Calls and other call tracking platforms. And we provide a tool called WhisperTone that if you're an agency is basically a free advertisement for you every time the phone rings. Um, it literally tells them whatever you want the uh, person who's answering the phone to hear when the phone rings. <clears throat> or if you're at a business, it can tell you the source uh, of that phone call. So let's say you uh, are a manager uh, or an owner of a tire shop. Uh, phone rings, person answering the phone hears call from Google PPC before they start talking to the customer. This gives them a little bit of heads up at least as to where the caller originated and that they're probably a new, uh, new uh, customer potentially when they answer the phone. So the, those whisper tones can say whatever you want them to say. So these are all, again, extremely useful tools that call tracking itself, basic call tracking provides. So call tracking is great. There's a ton of data. Call tracking has been around for a long time. It's established to work in the local search space, in the local PPC space, uh, and in the uh, broader uh, agency and uh, uh, marketing world. Call tracking is fantastic. But there's also a problem with call tracking in that it only provides surface data. And here's what I mean by that. Call tracking stops providing data after the phone rings. Once the phone rings, Call tracking provides no more data. Now the problem with that is that there's a lot of things that happen after the phone rings, obviously. There's some significant stuff that happens after the phone call starts, after the phone rings. Perhaps the most important is somebody could set up an appointment, they could buy something, they could be annoyed, they could be frustrated. But all of those important things happen during the conversation itself. In fact, according to Gartner, there are 420 billion words spoken every single day on business phone calls. In other words, a lot happens after the phone rings. So call tracking provides surface analytics. Conversation analytics, our goal when we develop conversation analytics is to provide call analytics that are as deep as web analytics. So I'll explain how that works. Uh, I just I want to make sure it's clear how it works. So if there's some repetition, forgive me. Uh, I just want to make sure it's perfectly clear how, the, how conversation analytics work. So let me give you some background as a way to introduce what conversation analytics is and does. So Log My Calls, we launched Log My Calls as a call tracking platform in May of last year, May, June of last year. So it's been around for about 17, 18 months, 16 months. And <clears throat> It's been a great call tracking tool, but, but our background as a company goes far past that, far beyond that into the past. Um, our company was actually founded in 2001, and what we did is we were essentially a call recording company that listened to phone calls and scored them manually for 10, 12 years. And so we've listened to millions of phone calls and evaluated millions upon millions of phone calls. So we have a lot of expertise in the area, so we're not coming at this out of the blue. So to give you that background, what conversation analytics is, is we have layered on top of state-of-the-art speech recognition technology hundreds of thousands of algorithms that we've spent the last several years and months writing. These are essentially search algorithms that search the content of the call that enable us and enable conversation analytics to extract what has happened on the call and provide it in a useful, uh, useful way to you. Uh, so we can tell literally if there was negative emotion emitted on the call, if there was an appointment set, if there was a follow-up appointment booked for a future phone call, if the person said they would come into a specific business, or if there was a purchase over the phone. We can determine if there was a missed opportunity, if the lead was good or bad, if the lead was sales ready or not, if they were price sensitive. Uh, we can even determine on the other end of the phone, did the employee handle the lead appropriately? Were they nice? Did they ask for the business? Did they close the deal? Uh, what held them back from closing the deal? Uh, was the customer agitated? Or on the, on, on the customer side of things, did the customer cancel? Did they complain? Uh, did they, uh, did they uh, mention a specific competitor? So these are all things conversation analytics can extract 
from phone calls based on the exact phrases and words said on the call. So literally the system listens, that's not the right word, but listens to the call to determine precisely what happens on the call and then pushes that information to you in a useful way. And you can see on your screen here exactly how that would look uh, on a per call basis. So just a few elements that conversation analytics can track. Uh, I mentioned a few of these. Lead quality, sales readiness, customer sentiment, sales performance, competitor mentions, commitment to buy, compliments, escalations, agent empathy, agitation level, or missed opportunities. And I'll talk a little bit about how we can actually use this data because that's important. You can see here on your screen an actual screenshot from the tool. And it's, it's set up in a really common sense way. You simply select the tracking numbers or the, the call recording methods you want to use to get the numbers into the system. You select how many phone calls you want to analyze on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. You put the minimum call duration in seconds of the calls you want to analyze. You don't want to analyze 10 second calls. That's not going to provide useful information. Um, and then you can, you can describe exactly what your uh, uh, analysis is going to produce. So do you want to analyze conversion events? Do you want to analyze lead quality or sales performance or phone etiquette? You can analyze all of these things within Log My Calls. So just, again, another visual as to how this works. And I hope there are questions at the end, uh, because I certainly want to answer questions about the tool. And it looks like there's already a few flowing in. So we'll answer, uh, we'll answer those at the conclusion. Great questions so far. Um, so just to give you another visual as to how this works, the uh, audio is spoken on the call. Our system captures that audio, runs it through the conversation analytics engine, and then produces those indicators that come out the other side. To give you another example as to how this works. So what we've done is we have um, created, and I'll show you this slide before I, I get into the one I was going to show. What we've done is we, in addition to analyzing the call, we've also created a very robust webhook generator. Now, I'm not a crazy technology guy, and so um, I'm going to explain this in a basic way. Some of you are probably far more adept at knowing what a webhook is than I am. But essentially what it is, it's an HTTP post triggered by any event. Now, these posts can shoot into a third-party SaaS, whether it's a CRM, whether it's a marketing automation tool, whether it's a point-of-sale service that you have, whether it's an email marketing platform, a mobile marketing platform, an SMS platform, any, any software. A webhook from any other software can enter the software and, and uh, change something within it. So for example, I'll give you an example. We use a specific CRM, and we use also a marketing automation tool. Well, when a uh, prospect within the marketing automation tool hits a certain threshold, a webhook shoots from that tool into the CRM to literally change the status of the prospect. So no one goes in and manually changes the status within a CRM. It's all done by webhook. The same thing is done with Log My Calls. So for example, here's how we use it with our CRM, one of the ways. Whenever there's a call that comes into our system, Log My Calls shoots a webhook to our CRM and creates a prospect record for that in that CRM. That's all triggered by a phone call. So we aren't manually going into the CRM and creating the record. A webhook shoots into the CRM and does it manually. The same thing can be done with conversation analytics. So if conversation analytics determines there's a missed opportunity, again, based on the phrases and words set on the call, um, a missed opportunity uh, indicator is created within Log My Calls. And the way that's done, just to give you some background, is the indicators are, are uh, displayed on a 0 to 100 numeric scale. So this is not a score as we would typically think about it, but what it really is, is it's a confidence level. The higher the number, the more confident conversation analytics is that an event occurred on a call. So if the uh, missed opportunity indicator strength scale number is 91, that means log my calls is darn near certain that that was a missed opportunity. However, if it's 33, that means that there was a little bit of missed opportunity language but we're not certain at all that it was a missed opportunity. Same thing with lead quality or uh, uh, sales performance or, or a, a, a conversion made on the phone, a purchase or an appointment set. The higher the number, the more confident 
conversation analytics is that an event occurred on the call. So the way that uh, webhooks work within Log My Calls is you could say, okay, anytime a, uh, uh, a missed opportunity indicator scored is above 75 or whatever number you want to select, meaning we're reasonably quite confident that there was a missed opportunity, a webhook could shoot to, to a CRM that literally makes a note in that prospect record that says this was a missed opportunity. That then could trigger a workflow within your CRM that puts them in a callback list that even sends a specific email to them because they were a missed opportunity. Again, all determined by the phraseology they used on the call. Uh, same thing with um, text message. So whenever there's a missed opportunity score above uh, 80, maybe a text message goes to a uh, uh, marketing manager that says, hey, there was a missed opportunity, here's the person's number, let's, uh, let's uh, market to them in a very specific way that will let them know that we, uh, we know that we missed an opportunity there. Same thing with follow-up email. A webhook could shoot to a, uh, uh, an email marketing platform that sends the caller a specific email based on, again, the phrases and words set on the call. Or you could add call detail records to a CRM, or you could add a lead score to a marketing automation. So for example, we, uh, we use a marketing automation tool that calculates lead score. And when lead score reaches 100, it goes into the CRM. Well, instead of just having events that uh, produce lead score points be you know, white paper downloads or visits to the website, how about a call as a 25-point addition to the lead score uh, for that prospect that allows them to shoot to the CRM? Um, you could even actually change email nurture tracks for the prospect based on webhooks. You could prioritize follow-up based on sales readiness. So sales readiness is one of the indicators that we pull out of the system, that we can pull out of calls. Well, you could have a webhook go to a CRM that changes the status of the prospect. Or you could note whenever there's a competitor mention, or you could note the referral source. There's all sorts of things that can be done, really things we hadn't even thought about our clients are now doing uh, with webhooks. So let me back up and give you an example of how this could work. Um, so this is an example. Jack needs auto insurance. That's Jack on his phone. He's extremely, I mean, what's the, the Zoolander movie? He's ridiculously good-looking Jack. He needs a quote uh, on his BMW X5. It's 2006. He has a wife and two teenagers drive the car. Well, that, those words in the auto insurance industry indicate a very high-quality lead. It's a BMW. It's not a Honda. Um, and he has uh, two teenagers, which means the price is going to go up. Um, lead score is good. Well, you can have then a webhook go to uh, a marketing automation tool or a follow-up marketing retargeting platform that indicates that there was a high lead score that automates some event within those tools. You could also, if they've opted in for text messages in the past, they call you. Um, they have a policy ending in about a week. They will call back tomorrow. Well, you can automate with a text message marketing platform. You could send a webhook to that platform that automatically sends them a text message. Or if they say <clears throat> they're moving to a new home in four weeks, then all of a sudden you have an opening for home insurance. That could send a webhook to a retargeting platform that uh, starts showing them home insurance ads. So again, Anything that any other SaaS can do, any third-party platform, can be automated with webhooks that are shot to that platform from Log My Calls. So I want to talk about a, a case study of a, of a digital agency that we're working with. It's a big agency. They started using us this year. This is what their senior vice president had to say. He said, for us, conversation analytics is incredibly important. These people spend money to advertise with us, and we need to give them a simple way to track ROI. And then he said this. He said, we would lose clients without Log My Calls. Now, let's take out everything else we've talked about today. Let's take out every other thing conversation analytics can do and just focus, for example, on missed opportunity indicators. Regardless of the industry you're in, whether you're a small business, whether you're an agency, whether you're in the legion space, whether you're in the B2B technology world, whether you are a large corporation that has brick-and-mortar locations or call centers, Imagine if you could know in real time when there's missed opportunities. Let's say you get an email whenever there's a missed opportunity or a text message whenever there's a missed opportunity. That alone, and you turn around and call that prospect back, that alone 
saves revenue. If it did nothing else, if the tool did that and nothing else, it would save you substantial revenue. That's powerful, powerful stuff. So let's talk about additional resources, and then I want to answer some questions, and then we'll get into the offer that we have this December. <clears throat> First, we have a, a several um, white papers that we've produced. The Quick Guide to Conversation Analytics, just go to logmycalls.com slash white dash papers. We also have uh, a guide for agencies and call tracking. The other thing that we've created is there's several videos on our site um, about uh, conversation analytics, one right on the home page in the showcase area. Watch that video. And then what we'll do is this webinar has been recorded. So we're going to send this webinar to you tomorrow morning, uh, the recording of it. Uh, and then we'll also send you a couple of other presentations about conversation analytics so you can learn a little bit more about it uh, as we uh, as we uh, get into it a little bit more. And as we said, we just launched Conversation Analytics like four weeks ago, six weeks ago. So we're still learning how clients are wanting to use this. Um, and they're using it in ways that we did not think of. <laughs> so that's exciting when your clients are starting to use the tool in ways that you hadn't thought of before. So that's a, that's a good thing. OK, let's take some questions now about Conversation Analytics. And we've already got several good questions here. So let's take some more. If you have those, type those in. And we'll uh, we'll start to start addressing them. Uh, first, um, what is the accuracy level of conversation analytics? Most voice recognition we've used, we've seen 30% or higher misinterpreted words rates. Good question. That's actually probably the number one question we get about conversation analytics: is, is does it work? And I'm going to answer that in a couple of ways. The first, the short answer is yes, and the accuracy rate is it hovers depending on the industry and and the uh, calls coming through the system, but it's typically between 80 and 90 percent on a word-by-word -word basis. Now, why is that important? <clears throat> it's important because um, that you might say, well, gosh, there's 10 percent of the words you're still missing. Um, the way we've written the algorithms, every word doesn't need to be correct. Um, the way we've written the algorithms is that things have to be in context. So if we miss a word occasionally, it doesn't really matter because the context is still there. And we can still tell based on the call whether it was a missed opportunity. So in terms of actually getting the calls on a broad basis right, it's, it's extraordinarily accurate. Um, we've, we beta tested this for eight, nine months because we wanted to make sure all the kinks were worked out. Uh, we worked with clients in a large and wide array of industries. So, and just to give you an idea as to how this works, you can read more about this on blog.logmycalls.com. We're writing about it daily. But literally, for each of these indicators, um, so for example, one of the ones we talked about today on our blog is the customer cancellation indicator. So conversation analytics can determine if a customer canceled on the phone. And in order for it to determine that, there are literally six to 700 phrases and keywords that it listens for. And the more of those it hears, the more confident it is that the cancellation event has occurred on the call. So it, in, and again, these are all in combination. So if, if these three words here in combination with these, appear in combination with these other three, and these three appear that are not within 15 words of these other words, it's extraordinarily complex. We've written it to be that way, and we've written it to be very accurate. The other question people have is they say, well, look, I use Surrey or I use a Google Voice, and they're somewhat accurate, but there's some problems. How is yours better than Google and Apple's technology? We're not saying it is. What we're saying is that when you give Siri a query, you're typically giving it six to eight words. Well, the average phone call is 600 words. We have significantly more material to work with, uh, so we can uh, ensure that the transcription as well as the analysis is significantly more accurate. So long answer, short answer to your question is it's extraordinarily accurate surprisingly accurate, and uh, uh, we're, frankly, surprised by its accuracy at times because they've put so much good work into it. Um, another good question. Let's see here. Okay, here's a perfectly straightforward question. How much is it? Um, I will pull over a pricing page so you can see how much it is. Uh, nothing is... is uh, let me type it in here, and I'll pull it over into the screen. OK, so you can see on your screen now the Log My Calls pricing page. 
So we have several different packages. Starts at 69 bucks a month. That includes um, a limited number of conversation analytics calls. I think it's like 30, something like that. So a number of calls to analyze per month. Um, as you get higher in price, the number of calls to analyze increases. So uh, with performance, it increases. With value, it increases. Now for volume pricing, um, it's even more. We actually have one plan where it's unlimited conversation analytics. So you just every single call that comes through your system could be analyzed if you wanted it to be, uh, which if you're getting useful data from it, you would want it to be. Um, and so like for example, this one comes with 200 calls analyzed, this one comes with 500, this one comes with 30, and then these come with unlimited. So you, you'll, that's, that's basically how it works. So you could get into it and say, you know what, I want to have 30 calls analyzed for 69 bucks a month, or I want 200 calls analyzed for, for 200 bucks a month. Uh, let's see, other questions here. Do we have to use your call tracking to get the calls analyzed? Good question. Yes and no. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get call recordings, frankly, is to just use call tracking numbers that we provide. But if you're in an environment where that's not possible or you're getting a huge volume of calls with just one or two numbers and they're, you know, whatever, we can port other numbers to us, by the way. Um, so if you're with another call tracking provider uh, or you are uh, just, you know, on the public telephone network, we can uh, port those numbers to us and make them tracking numbers, essentially, which is useful. But we also have other ways to get recordings. We can uh, get recordings via API uploads. So if you use a call recording right now, we can typically, it depends on the call recording type, there's specific file types we have to have. But in some cases, we can actually get those recordings into the system if you have a call recording solution now. And then the other way is we actually offer a hardware call recording device that can be installed on premises. So that is something that a lot of our clients that are uh, enterprise level are using, perhaps in the call center environment or on a on a uh, inside sales floor, is they're actually installing these call recording devices and we're getting calls in that way. We've also partnered with other call recording companies uh, to uh, make their recordings uh, useful for us. Because as you can imagine, the recordings have to be very high quality to help accuracy. So we can't just have every call recording system in the world shooting low quality calls into our system. They need to be compliant with our high standards. Uh, Jennifer asked a good question. Can this be used for both inbound and outbound calls? Absolutely. Um, any call can be analyzed if you want it to be analyzed. So uh, the, uh, the data is just as useful for inbound versus outbound calls. Let's see here. Other questions that are coming in. Does anyone else offer anything like this? That's a good question. Um, so there's a lot of companies that offer human call scoring. And those kind of fall into two camps. Um, there are some that offer very basic. So we'll tell you if it's a good call or a bad call, and we'll charge like two bucks a call to do that. So they literally have somebody listen to the call, tell you if it's a good call or a bad call, checkbox, checkbox, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. So there's a lot of companies that do that. We offer that on a human level. We call it call tagging. So we can do that for you if you want. If you don't trust machines, we can do that for you on a human basis. There's also a lot of companies that do uh, in-depth human call scoring. So these are typically in like sales environments, like they want to grade their sales team on very specific things. Conversation analytics isn't going to be able to tell you that level of data. Um, it can tell you did they ask for the business, did they close the sale, but if you want to know, you know, did they specifically um, say this phrase 17 times uh, or follow this exact sequence of events, this sort of tree you've got built for your sales team, it's not going to be able to tell you that. Um, and so manual call scoring is going to be necessary there if you want that. Other co there's a couple of other companies that offer that. We offer that as well. Um, in terms of actually providing this conversation analytics, there are some companies that just provide you the raw transcription to search through. Um, but in terms of actually building in to the speech recognition technology, the algorithms, there's no one else that has done that. Uh, and no one else combines that with webhooks, even if they had done that. So no, there, there's not anybody else that, that does it. Um, where do you put your webinars? That's a good question. So we, as I said at the outset, we host one to two webinars a week. And they're generally not. I mean, this is a, this is a salesy webinar. You guys aren't you're not dumb. This is a salesy webinar. Um, most webinars we do are not salesy, uh, probably to a fault. Uh, so you can see today, you can see the family picture we had done that I cropped my head out of. 
recently and put it, put it there. Um, you can see webinars we have coming up next week. We have a webinar with Lander about landing pages. We have a webinar with G2 Crowd, which is a, a SaaS review site. Uh, we have webinars with Michael Fleischner and Tim Ash coming up. And then you can see past webinars on, on a few back pages that are recorded. So this webinar will be recorded and will be housed here. This is logmycalls.com slash webinar or webinar series. Well, either one will get you there. So slash webinar, uh, and the webinars will be housed there. And then I mentioned the video on our homepage in the showcase area that will tell you a little bit more about conversation analytics. And there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of great information in the video, and then we've also got some other resources, as I said, that I'll email you. Um, the other thing that I failed to mention at the outset is that this webinar is being recorded, so we encourage you to share this with people in your organization um, and, uh, and talk to them a little bit more about conversation analytics. So uh, with that, keep asking questions about conversation analytics. I want to have my colleague, Mike Writing, talk a little bit about our Kindle Fire offer uh, for Christmas. and. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about how it works and where you can take advantage of this offer because the reason the impetus for this by the way as I pitched to Mike is you know anybody in sales knows that when you get into December people are like oh yes I'm really interested but I don't want to do anything to like January because it's December and I I'm going home early I don't know what they do in December but anyways that's what that's that's what we hear and every I promise you there's several people on this call shaking their heads like yes that's what we hear so we thought in a way to try to to stop that, to stop the December wait till January blues, we're going to give them a Kindle Fire if they sign up. Kindle Fire HD, no less. So, Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Tell us about the offer, how it works, any caveats, all that stuff. Hey guys, this is Mike Riding. I'm a, a marketing manager here at Log My Calls, and as McKay said, we're really, really excited about this Kindle Fire offer. Um, you know, when when we pitched this idea to our CEO, he, he he, he kind of freaked out a little bit because we'd already <laughs> offered it. It had already been leaked by one of our rogue employees. And so um, it, he threatened to uh, uh, cancel Christmas parties, and it was mayhem around here for a while. <laughs> and and we did, I think he did cancel the Christmas parties. He party. did. He actually did. Just screwed is what he is. Right, right. But we're not. You know, around here, we love the holidays. We love giving. Um, we, we like the, the mantra of get more for giving. We want to be naughty and nice at the same time. So, you know, the naughty element is, listen, you can selfishly, you know, refer people. Because if you're a current customer of Log My Calls, if you refer somebody who signs up in December, you get a free Kindle. So you can be naughty and nice by, uh, you know, thinking of yourself selfishly to get that free Kindle. But <laughs> then you're, the, the new customer also gets a free Kindle. So you both win. And uh, we at Log My Calls, we win, of course, as well. And as McKay mentioned, this is all about incentivizing signing up in December. We're in the same boat as you. We know that nobody really wants to make a decision in December, uh, but we all have sales goals to meet for December. And so we are hoping that this would incentivize you to, if you're a current customer, to refer uh, people to Log My Calls. And you can sign up for Log My Calls and then begin referring customers immediately. So you don't need to be a pre-existing customer. You can sign up today and begin referring other customers today. So some of the... And you get multiple, right? Yeah, get, up to 20. So the limit is... I know it is crazy, uh, and, and uh, so up to 20 referral Kindles you can uh, garner for your business. Uh, some of the details are uh, the new customer does need to use a coupon code. Log my Kindle is the coupon code that needs to be put in. Very clever. Needs to be put in at the uh, pricing and sign up page. Uh, the referring company. So if you're a customer and you're referring somebody, you do need to fill out the log my calls. Uh, you want to scroll down, McKay, and show that to everybody. It's all linked here. This is logmycalls.com slash cyber where you can get all of the details. So uh, scroll down a little bit more. So right here is yeah. the Log My Calls Kindle Fire referral form. You need to fill that out. All of the referrals and new customers will be phone verified by our account management team. Um, new customers do need to stick around for at least three months or they will be charged a $169 cancellation fee. That's in the fine print there. Um, but we're really, really excited about this. Uh, Kindle Fire HD is one of the best tablets. We've been looking around. I bought one for my kids already. Unfortunately, current, uh, we had a lot of employees here at the company that started magically coming up with people that they could think to refer, and we unfortunately <laughs> had to put the kibosh on that and tell them that, no, this is not open to employees. 
uh, you're not eligible for this. Um, but if you have any questions on how this works, or really to get more detailed, check out our logmycalls.com slash cyber page. And then um, you can also call, oh, what's the number there? You can call 855-585-9553 to talk to someone in our sales department, and they can give you all the details as well. Awesome. Mike, thank you. Um, so as Mike said, I mean, the whole goal with this is to, if you're not a customer and you're thinking about becoming a customer, might as well sign up in December because you're going to get a free Kindle Fire HD. I guess there's an HDX out this Christmas, but... Yeah, we're not quite that ritzy. Our supplies are limited, so you know, sign up as soon as you can. The, the supplies are limited, so get in while watching. I can only stand in so many lines on Black Friday. Um, <laughs> and then uh, if, you're, if you're a current customer, refer people. You can refer up to 20 and get 20 Kindle Fire ACs. So that's cool. Um, all right, let's finish. We'll talk about conversation analytics, and we'll be done. Uh, lastly, this was a, we did a demo the other day with a very large SEO firm that uses another call tracking company right now. And he saw the demo of conversation analytics, and he said, conversation analytics will change marketing analytics forever. We really do feel like this is a new frontier here. We're mining data out of phone calls that has never been available before. So again, I want to reiterate, if you're an SMB, you're a small business, and uh, you just want to know uh, which campaigns not only are producing calls, but which ones are producing appointments, which ones are producing purchases over the phone. You want to just know missed opportunities. Conversation analytics can tell you that. If you are a, an agency, not only are you going to be able to give your clients data about how many calls you generate for them, but you can literally provide data about how many appointments you, book, you have produced for them or purchases you produce for them. Or you can even just give them missed opportunity data. Say, you know what, because I'm awesome, you're going to get a text message every time there's a missed opportunity on a phone call. What a value add. What an incredible value add for an agency. And then if you're a large corporation, the ways you can use this are totally endless. You can have data pushed to your point of sale systems. You can have data pushed to your CRMs. You can have data pushed to your uh, uh, analytics, your BI dashboards. Uh, you can have uh, alerts sent to corporate editors. Imagine this. We actually have a client who is has several thousand uh, brick-and-mortar locations. They're having executives sitting in corporate offices receiving emails and reports that show the missed opportunities on individual brick-and-mortar locations in North Dakota and Illinois and Utah and all these places. They're getting this data in their offices at corporate headquarters. That's incredible stuff. So. If you're in any any if you if your business or you work with businesses that get phone calls at all or you make phone calls, conversation analytics can help you. So, uh, any other questions before we close? Uh, just basic questions about the recording. Yeah, this webinar was recorded. You'll receive an email about it. You'll also probably receive a phone call from the sales team. Just chat me right now or send me a, a question if you don't want to get just a quick phone call from a member of our sales team about this. Um, so anyway, we appreciate your time, everybody. Thanks for attending today, and uh, watch for that email tomorrow morning that'll come through as a record uh, for uh, that'll have the recording attached to it. So we encourage you to sign up, and you might as well sign up in December if you're going to do it anytime because you'll get something for free and give your kids. So thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and uh, let's uh, let's go out and have a uh, a great holiday season. Thanks again. Bye bye.